Alright, alright, alright. Jesus Christ. Okay guys, so I'm taking you in on a journey of my rehab. Uh, it's the end of week one for my rehab. I tore my shoulder, as you guys know, the rotator cuff and a hamstring. Uh, my right hamstring to be exact. And I'm off to see my physio now. He's going to do some dry, needle dry needling, cupping, deep tissue, um, some mobility, stretching and exercise and a little bit of gym work. They're giving me four to six weeks for these injuries to get better. Uh, the shoulder that is and the hamstring they're giving me about I think they said about three weeks and then it's back on the road for the world title in Las Vegas so come along with me guys and I'll take you on my journey oh we've got some two beautiful cars right here my boy JJ behind the camera shout out to Kermit the Frog sick car and he's my baby my beast I hate dry kneeling guys it's gonna suck but your boy's gonna do what your boy's gonna do. Okay, off to physio. We go. Now, guys, for anyone that's uh, obviously watching this video. Please make sure you don't be like me. Don't wrestle with your friends. Don't lift super heavy weights when you're feeling dehydrated at the gym and not feeling 100%. Listen to your body and these things can be avoided. In saying that, I always listen to my body. This was the first time, my first bodybuilding, two bodybuilding injuries, or one really, the hamstring. The other one was from wrestling like a dickhead. But um, my first bodybuilding injuries in my whole career of bodybuilding, so. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing, but I should have known better. And I hope you guys take this as a lesson, um, just to train smart, train safe. And if your body's just not feeling like it's gonna do something a day, like a particular heavy lift that you normally do, just don't do it. It's absolutely not worth it. All right, let's heal this uh, broken body. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so this is uh end of week one. End of week one of my physiotherapy. It's my fourth session this week. I've been just doing one like uh almost every day really. Because we gotta heal myself, your boy's got a world title to win. Let's get it. Yeah, we'll be outside. I need to wash too. <laughs> How's your morning? Oh, uh, good man. Yeah. Just woke up early, went for a little light walk. Nice. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, arm is feeling pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, the arm's good. How's the hamstring? Uh, it's okay. It's not bad. I did some exercise for it yesterday. Yeah. Um, I did uh, so my other physio, but I'm just going to um, stick with you. It's just confusing that thing. Yeah, so I'll get you to work on just everything now. Just okay. my shoulder heavy. But, um, he was getting me to do glute bridges off the ground, yeah. uh, light walk about 30 minutes a day, so many 10 minute intervals, yeah. and uh, um, box squats sitting, just body weight, yeah. just to keep blood in there. Yeah. Uh, it's feeling pretty good, still a bit tight but not as bad. Shoulder is, um, see the shoulder's more sore than the hammy, but it's feeling it's feeling better, like the mobility is a lot better, I'm not like struggling as much. Hanging on with like the rows and stuff? The what? The rows here, those ones. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, oh, and I did a session with um on the new fit machine, the neuro oh, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. doing another one today. Awesome. Bro, it was incredible. Let me yeah. tell you, he like my trainer, he put all these things on me, yeah. like the ones that zapping and stuff. Yeah. And he's, he actually made me do dumbbell side raises, and I got up to using three kilos, full range of motion. Oh, this yeah. was two days ago. Amazing. When my range of motion with dumbbells was nothing, so yeah. he got me like he just got me to go slow, one rep, two rep, three rep, yeah. four, nice. five, six, and raising. By the end of it, I was doing ten like this easy. Yeah, see. With the machine, and he sat me down, and he just attached it to my hammy and to my um, left delt, and he just had the currents run through me to keep the muscles firing up yeah, yeah. and active. So it was See. good. Doing awesome. another one of those today, and then yeah, nice. But so far, show people to do. Yeah. No pain there. Amazing. Really? No pain at all. Okay, come step forward. Receive the ball. Uh, we've got abduction. So that's this way. 
Is it still no, catching no my pain, but catching up. Oh, no, no pain coming up on the way down. About there. Yeah. Do that again, but this time like, when you come down, right? think about like almost engaging your lat halfway down. Okay. Almost like you're like squeezing your elbow to your side. So all the way up, yeah. Tight, tight bit of tightness around yeah. there, but no pain. And you come down at the catching point, bring that elbow towards your side, like you're doing like a, like a lap pull like this. Yeah. Catch less. Something catches there like a pull. Okay. A pulling sensation. No worries. Yeah. Let's get my arms up. So that looks there. Good range. Still tight though. At the outside. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, hands going to be right now. Have a seat for me, right? Mm hmm. Uh, this is going to be Keep your feet nice and flat for me. Or flat? Yeah, just flat. Hands across. Elbows up to the ceiling. It's going to block off your knees, right? And all I want you to do from here is I want you to turn your torso left and right. Take a bit, it's a bit slow, a bit slow. Go through four ranks that way, as far as you can go. And then go to your left. Does one side feel limited compared to the other? No. My back just feels tight, but yeah. I'm not that flexible. Nice. Let's keep working, bro. Let's go work on it. Uh, you happy with the progress? I'm very happy with the progress. Yeah. We'll do some stuff in here. I think, bro, from last week, yeah. couldn't even get a glove. Yeah, it was yeah, actually here, here, yeah. 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 was last week? I think it was this week, wasn't it? Monday? The first time I saw you was... Monday? Yeah, it's been like four days. It's been four days, yeah. Yeah, sick. Well, bro, think yeah. about it. Like, you know, four days ago, we were we were stuck doing one of these ones. Yeah, man. I was like, you we can see the pain in me. Oh, so These ones, and then we're stuck here. So. And, you, and you said, uh, just for like all the viewers um, who are watching this, you said for the crowd would be like four to six weeks, do you think? Yeah, I think about four to six weeks. Um, for like the, so when we do rehab, there's a few things you want to look at. For one, the actual pathology itself. Now I think itself, it's like a, a very small grade partial tear. Partial that, tear, what did you, you say? It said it was grade one? A grade one. So, so you, usually with these kinds of things, they'll have a clinical healing time frame we go according to, mm -hmm. so about four to six weeks. Okay. But the way rehab kind of plays into it is like, rehab is just to try um, improve your function. Mm -hmm. So you got to kind of go with, you know, our expected time frame, which might be four to six weeks. Yeah, let's look at the worst case scenario. Exactly. So, like worst, six weeks. so worst case scenario is four yeah. to six weeks, but then you go according to function, which we're in four days. Oh yeah, I'm shocked. Full range, we're yeah. going to start working through. Like I said to you before, man, you kind of protect it a little bit, yeah. donut analogy, yeah. keep it protected, work around it. Bit by bit, we kind of expose it from more controlled movements to mm -hmm. uncontrolled movements. Yeah. From Less risk to more. The only one I'm really having trouble with is this one still. Yeah. That's, good. That's gonna be okay though. Yeah. To go from nothing to that is fine. Yeah, like, true. It's, it's, it's gonna come about. Like, I think that will be the slowest to come in, I think, because I've seen people with the same injury and that one is always the last one to Correct. come. Hence why, like, with pressing, it's usually like, you know, upward pressing, overhead pressing repetitively is usually like the last thing that we do. Or more towards a later progression. So basically, when I start training again, overhead presses, I just I don't even do much overhead presses. Really. It's just yeah, the way I look at rehab is more like a risk first reward. Yeah. So for example, like the risk first reward with pulling exercises now, the reward would be far greater than the risk. Yeah. If we're doing overhead pressing, like yeah. the risk might be a little bit more too reward, much yeah. than the reward you get. Yeah. So that's how rehab would kind of go from smart, yeah. controlled to uncontrolled, less risk to more risk. Cool. And then you combine that with the healing time. And you're doing good for four years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, come, see your face okay. now, bro. Let's pop that shirt off. Easy. So, yeah. Normally with shoulders, when people get like frontal side pain, you'll commonly see a lot of restriction through the back of the shoulder. Um, a lot of irritability through the side of the shoulder here, purely because the shoulder will kind of go into protection. Uh, and these areas can just be of high sensitivity. Uh, sometimes releasing them can obviously improve that range of motion temporarily, after which we want to kind of load it and get it strong. And step by step, like I said, we combined gym stuff with the clinical healing time. So four to six weeks, and then that's how you kind of put together a master plan. Yeah, man, I was doing those, um the ones where you tie the band as well against like yeah the bully yeah the bully that felt great too it all feels great yeah that's important man as long as the things are feeling good yeah have you done a back day yet uh no, no. I'm, I'm just i didn't want to train for just one whole week yeah okay Fair you enough. know what i mean just yeah, to yeah. let everything settle yeah but next week on monday yeah. you think i can go back 100 percent just I'd, nice and light huh Take i prefer easy. more horizontal pulling so like less um Let's not go from above head to below. Yep. Stick below eye level. Oh, I got you. Yes. Yeah. So no lap pull downs, but yeah, I yeah. Could, but I could do seated rows. You could do a seated row. You uh, could do. Okay. You could do. Think forehead and below. Got you. Got you. Think okay. forehead and below. Okay. That's what I will do. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, a bit 
Quite a bit, I definitely want to work through the range of mushroom is what we're doing now. Even now the deep tissue doesn't hurt, like before when you were doing it, it was killing the yeah. rubber. It's good bro, we're, we're desensitizing now like, now it. Now there's no pain. Yeah, we're, we're decreasing your body's uh, perception of threat. Yep. And that's, that's a big part of like overcoming pain. I wonder how the muscle actually heals over, you know, just new muscle cells grow or like the tear so, closes in? Yeah, so there's actually like healing phases. Yeah. So like the first side of it's usually like inflammation yeah. and then bit by bit it goes through phases. So there's another phase called proliferation, there's one called remodeling. Yeah. Um, and that also, like I said, happens clinically anyway, naturally. Yeah. But you being a bodybuilder, it's important we uh, combine that with what your functional outcomes are, which is for you training. Yes. So it's good, like you know, if you think about like how, how your colleague or your friend did the the PT session with you, he just gradually exposed you. Yeah. From less risk to more risk. Yeah. But under control. Interesting. That's just how you gotta do it, man. It's, yeah. it's just management really. As long as you're not going backwards, you're doing the right thing. Rehab's never usually like linear. Like you always gonna have a little bit of like a dip. Like and that's completely normal. A lot of people get like anxious with that kind of stuff. Like say for example, you might have two days where you progress really, really fast. Yep. You might have one like half day where you're like, oh shit, I've been a little bit of pain. Yeah. It's not, necessi cool. not necessarily a bad thing. You know, that's just how the body heals me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I'll get like a sharp pain out of nowhere if yeah. I move a certain way, but then another day I'll, there'll be no pain at all. Yeah. It's just weird, yeah. How's your week, man? It's been good, bro. Paddington yesterday. Fuck, I mean, like, I might check it out, but just hope for so many, bro. <laughs> just kept, yeah, I'm like, fuck, it's okay. Like Get this on camera, JJ. I hate this shit. Keep no, you keep talking to me. You keep talking. Oh, you keep yeah, talking. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Stop. <laughs> and then you're gonna work on the hammy archer. Is that, what, is that what's gonna happen? Did she ever hit you up after? Yeah, no, just in the YouTube comment. Yeah. She's like, oh, it's really good for you to make some fun of someone with a disability. I'm like, bitch, if you had a disability. Then, like, that doesn't excuse you for stalking someone, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, I hate this shit. That was nice, you showed a little twitch. No, I did it uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, you're not disabled enough to be able to stalk me for five hours. Can't be that disabled, can you? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't use that as an excuse for being a shit human being. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just fucking weird. Just hey, no! that was nice. Isn't that acupuncture or some shit? Yeah. So, dry kneeling, like. So we're looking for little trigger points we oh, So oh. like areas of like hypersensitivity. God, fucking... Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to relax, censor this relax, problem. Relax, relax, relax. You're good, Can you please strike my ball? Yeah, 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 yeah. Think about squeezing your big toe for me. Oh, big toe, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah, go, go, go. Spray, spray, spray. No more, bro, please. Give me one. It's just, I just... Yeah. Guys, I don't know, man. Oh, man. Daddy, oh no, oh come on, man. Oh, that, 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 that fucking feels okay. I'm good. <laughs> oh, no, Daddy, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would have stayed there for eight hours getting this sleeve and fucking. Oh. So just more soft tissue work. So if it was just a light grade, because I haven't really assessed it. A lot of the time, just soft tissue works more about just creating some, you know, blood flow blood to that flow. area desensitizing areas of you know tightness and pain and like I said same concept of the shoulder once that feels good we then promote pain-free movement in it still kind of keep contraction in the, the hamstring and keep function where possible so again uh, with rehab less risky movements to more risky movements over time the good thing is you're not a sprinter that would just make your rehab a bit more complex yeah. For a while. Yeah. Yeah. Be pretty easy to return, bro. We'll do a couple of things for both of them after. Nice, brother. Try to get some blood in there. The injury they get from bodybuilders would be like, oh yeah, bro, like what happened? Oh yeah, bro, I was like fucking, you know, rock climbing and sprinting. I was like, when the f do you ever do that? Yeah, I never do it. Oh yeah. Are <laughs> hey, you? <f> <laughs> <laughs> so I feel alright, bro. Feel feels good, bro. Yeah, no pain in that. How you doing yeah. that? Bro, that is yeah. nasty. Please don't tell me about it, please, bro. It's like under Shut your... the f up. I'm not gonna hear it. Oh, eight inches in me, damn. <laughs>
BBC of peace, baby. I'm going to stop swearing. I'm going to censor this video. <laughs> this is why we get demonetized. If okay, we keep taking we'll just, the swearing out. We'll beep it out with your editing tricks, bro. Do you get demonetized for swearing? Yeah. No, it gets... Like two, three videos out of this, probably. Like part one, part two, part three. Saves us a whole bunch of filming, really. Yeah. Be good when we start doing things in the gym as well, would be nice. Yeah. Are we heading into the gym? Today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a point right there. That's the exact... Holy shit, that's the exact spot. I got changed. That is the cool. exact spot, bro. You happy to go into the gym after too? Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Or rehab, yeah? Yeah, rehab. Yeah. Big day, bro. Got sprints programmed in. <laughs> Heavy squats, oh my god, imagine you make me do it. The best thing about being a physio is like sometimes I can just fuck with people. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're doing 100 kilos, 150 kilos. Right, like people will come in and be like, oh my shoulders are really sore. I do my assessment, I'm like, oh, bro, just give me a lat spread too. And like people will full do it, and I'm like, bro, I'll just fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I would do the same if I was in your shoes. Oh my god. I feel terrible, which is good, bro. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That's exact spot. Have your hips been okay since this occurred? Yeah, hips are fine. Good. Okay. Yeah. Why, they look misaligned or something? No, I'm just asking, do you feel like you've been walking funky as a result of it all? Uh, a, l a little bit with a limp, but that was only the first day. It's kind of good now. Okay, that's good. Is there a reason why he's got a tear in his hamstring? Dehydration? Well, I, well, I think I wasn't really read too much of it. You mentioned you were going through a pretty heavy day, dehydrated. Single, yeah, single leg hamstring, heavy. Heat. On the eccentric movement, I felt a snap. Yeah, heavier plates on the eccentric. That's usually how a tear will happen, where like a muscle is lengthened and then it'll contract. And because it can't tolerate that load, I do think it is a, a contributing factor. Yeah. Because I'd like to think that I have exceptional genetics. <laughs> you know, like... I think your history of training helps you with this. I think so too, bro. Uh, that, that, that's a definite. Because you'll be able to maneuver your way around it. A lot of muscle density, which is a good thing. Yeah. A good propensity to heal because you already have a lot of muscular tissue there. Yeah. You think so, huh? It feels really good for the enemy too. Yeah. Relieving. Get him out, get him out. I can't even feel it. Are they all out? There's one, there's one more. Fuck <laughs> you. You can't feel that, can you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, nice? Yeah, yeah. yeah good. Just take the idea of the needles. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Can you do me a favor? Can you have a lay on your right side, please? Yeah. Trust yourself, move without feet. Move it up feet, move it up feet. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, have your arm here for me. Now when I go through here, I'd like you to do your yeah, active rotate. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'd, I'd like you to show you from behind. I'd like you to do your rotation on your whoa, yeah. awesome. Take your time, take your time. Just so what you can tolerate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press, you rotate with me, yeah? Got you. Go for it. Work with me, work with me, work with me. You got more than that. Come on, work with me. Ah, oh, there we go. Work with me. That's better. Work with me, work with me. Good. Again. Good. Work with me. Good. Work with me. Nice. Good. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh, you just push it out a little bit further each time. Yeah. Oh. Try and get that rotation done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, this rotation done. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh. Can you set that shoulder back for me? So pull your shoulders back together. Yeah, now go. Yeah, see how much more range there? Uh. Yeah, 
I got the fear of just tearing it, but that's just fear. The next thing I want you to do yep. is I want to go through the same thing. I want you to reach your arm like you're going that way. And then bring it back like this. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Go for it. That's it. Reach. And then bring it back. <sighs> go again. Reach. Reach, reach, reach. And then bring it back. Go. Reach, reach, reach. Reach, reach, reach. Go, go, go. Bring it back. Jeez. <sighs> Reach, reach, reach. Bring it back. <sighs> Last one. Reach, reach, reach. And bring it back. Beautiful. Have a lay on your back for me. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Use your arms. Good. Let's go through two more. Use your full section. No, no, just gently against me. Good. And use your left hand to the back. Good. Last one. Gently against me. And then pull me. Jeez. Stand back up. Nice and tall, remember? Set your feet a little, strong feet. Yeah. Nice and much. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, no back. There's no extension. No. Full range. Good. Yeah. Let's go through that back. Beautiful. A little pinch, but let's pull. Do me a favour. When you're kind of doing that motion, huh? instead of let it hike in your shoulder up, think about reaching your arm long to the wall, like you're trying to lengthen it. Got you. Oh, yeah. So reach it. Yeah, like that. That was good. Don't let it kind of hike up. Good. Now go both at the same time. And pretend your shoulder blades are moving with you. Like that. That's much better. Good. And if you go through a rotation, no, this one's a tricky one. Nice and tall. Arms up. Shoulders back together for me. Good. Now go to Really nice. Good. Alright. Let's work outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get your hands behind back for me. Nice and tall, chest tall. That's good. See, there's no hesitation for you to go back now. This trap's popping more than that one. Yeah, it's because you're letting it go this way. So oh, that's why you're nice and tall. Nice. How's that feel? Good. Good work. Let's yeah. go outside. Let's do some stuff. Probably sing along. We'll do some rehab outside. All that shoulder back. As far as we can. Yeah. Just all side delt up. Can you feel that? I can now, I'm getting a pop. Yeah. Hey, oh, what's my thing? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Good reps, they're good reps, they're good reps. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Good arm. Whoa! <laughs> My guy. What the fuck? Almost. Yeah, that was like 80%, 70-80%. Yeah. You know what you did the dumbbell one? Yeah. It's going to be safe. Yeah, yeah. And then we get to play the shot on this side. Don't just have the Alrighty. Let me pull you here and then we'll get out of here. Oh man, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna do all the MDF all in one go next yeah, week. Okay. I'm gonna just get that and shit. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Um, same time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week? Yeah, yeah. Monday, I think it's on the 10th. Can you come a bit earlier? Yeah, bro, the earlier the better. I can okay. come at 9.30. Yep, yeah, it's so 9.30? Yeah, I'm looking 9.30. Awesome, man. You'll have all the receipts, eh? Yeah. Okay, sweet. I'll, just, yeah, I'll get it next week. I'll get it down. Tell, tell um, the people who you are. Tell them where we can find you. Awesome. And my name is Rube. Uh, my Instagram handle is, I think, Rube underscore Physio. Our company's name is Improving Move Physiotherapy. And Trust the process, man. Awesome, Thank guys. You. And I'm going to put his uh, Instagram uh, in the description in the link in the bio. He's amazing. He's really looking after me. He's worked with some of the top athletes in Australia and Sydney. He's worked with George Cambosis Jr. And now he's working with me. Highly recommend, guys. Thank you so much, Thank brother. You. I'll see you next week. See you soon. Have a good weekend. Take care. Hello, buddy. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Jesus Christ. I just wanted to pat him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sports, mate. You see that little fucking dog? Anyway, alright guys, so I finished with the physio for the week. That was three sessions done. 
feeling pretty good after the needling, the mass massaging and uh, some of those mobility and stretching and exercises that he got me to do. Uh, we will be keeping this up for the next four weeks, I believe, and then slowly easing my way back into the gym to start training to get ready to take this world title uh, by storm for the WBFF Las Vegas August. Uh, I'm not sure what date it is, but I will let you guys know soon. Um, I'm about to go enjoy my weekend. Love you guys. Thank you for the support.